Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. We're here at the Pirates of the Sky field in Rock, West Virginia, getting ready to test the ALS OSD on the Skywalker plane. Just doing a few pre-flight checks and getting ready for launch. Now, the ALS OSD is a bigger version of the Minim OSD with a different processor and enhanced features, such as multiple battery voltages, a barometer, a finer video display, and great widgets. Looks like the elevator's trimmed up a lot. Is it normally like that? Yeah. I think it just keeps it from diving. I'm pulling it out like the way it was. So this is the main screen on the ALSO SD, most of the gadgets. This is the uh, second screen, screen number two. And I've put just a few things on here. It already had uh, the channel map there. It has one battery voltage, the radar, and it has the ladder on the left for the speed and the ladder on the right for the altitude. I didn't have a home position, didn't have enough satellites, so that isn't working. And uh, over on the right, the airspeed is, or the air direction is working in the airspeed. And here's a little summary that uh, probably is not working because I never did get a home position, so it wouldn't know the distance and stuff like that. And here's just the uh, simple screen that I've got with just the heads up display and uh, the home position, which I don't have. Okay, back to the main screen here. I really like some of the features of the ALSO SD such as having multiple battery voltages. As you can see, there's two battery voltages at the top. Zooming in on them, the one on the left is the main flight battery voltage. The next to that is the throttle bar, so you can see how much throttle you can fly. Uh, so I don't have my home arrow, I talked about that. That's the next one over. And in the middle is the second battery voltage for the video battery, which running my video pod. The far right is the RSSI from the receiver control. Okay, now on the left of the display you can you can see the ladder there for the speed. There's the mode down the bottom and the radar. Okay, we got a good view up here. I was surprised just how pretty a day it was. I didn't know if it was going to rain, but it's a great day. Now, I was getting some breakup as I went over the top of the patch antenna. Patch antennas aren't famous for working right above them. But once I got in front of it, everything was great. Another view of the main display here. And uh, you can see down at the bottom we have the GPS coordinates on the left there and the compass, both of which are working. Looks like I got seven satellites in 3D. We're just making a few loops around here, but the plan is we're going to go up to a thousand feet and kind of look over the top of the mountain. And uh, right now we're just cruising around, just getting prepared for that. Everything seems to be working except the whole marrow. Let's put the display away a minute just to look at the view here. That's supposed to be the Bluestone River, I think, but I could be wrong. Okay, now, coming over the RC field, and uh, you can see it's kind of dark, so the Mobius isn't picking up with the sun right in front of it. The sun shines the Mobius, it kind of adjusts, and everything looks dark. But you'll see later as I swing around that I get a pretty good picture. Now the sun's behind me. There's the flight line. Everybody's down there. Okay, now we sped up the video because we're going to start circling just to get up about a thousand feet. So we're going to go from the original 2100 feet to about 3100 feet. So just some fast motion video as we're doing some climbing. Now you can see over on this side we've got the barometer on the bottom. Shows the up and down of the plane as it's moving along. Pretty good for gliders. And then, of course, 
there is the ladder for the altitude, which we're watching now as we climb to 3,100 feet. Wind direction and speed is up at the top. You can see the wind's blowing against the plane, which is represented by that little arrow. And then you can see 100% RSSI there, too. So my easy UHF receiver is working great. 100% RSSI. Won't lose control. Might lose video, but not control. Okay, now we are going to just cruise around and look over the top of the ridge. Beautiful view up, up here. You can see the mountains off in the distance. A little bit of um, Princeton, I believe, is out there in the distance. Princeton, West Virginia. Here's the flight line down there at the bottom. Just a beautiful view. Okay, now in a few minutes, I should say in a few seconds, I'm just going to head back down, but I'm going to turn the motor off, completely off, and just glide the rest of the way down. And it'll be a uh, total glide, no motor, so just enjoy the ride. All you'll hear is a bunch of wind blowing over the camera, but some really good views. So this is in West Virginia. It's Rock, West Virginia. That's the name of the little town, way out in the mountains. Real narrow road to get there, just paved in the middle. And it's over the Pirates of the Sky RC field. Okay, you can see the altitude is decreasing. We're basically just gliding down for a landing. We got about uh, 2,500 now, going to 2,100, so we're 400 feet up. Now you'll see at the end, as I came into the the uh, grassy strip or the runway, I had to take a little dive just to get down close to the ground. I had quite a bit of speed, but came in for a nice landing anyway. So I think the ALSO SD works pretty good. There seems to be a little problem with uh, the camera and and the also SD. I think the video signal kind of breaks up a little bit. Uh, a little noisy. I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, here we come. That's it. Okay, I'm back to pick you up. That was a great flight, though. I'm going to turn off the Mobius now. Secure flight. 